Hello, Monsters are bound here and welcome back to Stellaris Megacorp and the Floating Turtle Jellyfish PLC. Last time, we expanded our tentacles in every direction. They got everywhere. And we're colonising a new world, which is good. We also met the Caravaneers, although they don't, they're not talking to us yet. But they will do. Soon, I hope. So we're just going to carry on as we were doing. Let's have a look at Bogugi Prime. Yes, that's all good. We are... Look at this. Population growth is through the roof. We are pumping... I was going to say pumping out, but it's more like pumping up, isn't it? Pumping up Bogugians. Are we being careful? Or are they occasionally just popping? And is that distressing for the parents? I would imagine probably yes. So we've got the first Bagugian colony. The colony ship has gently touched down the snowy fields of Iplain Prime in the deep valley near the equator. The landing site nestled within a large mountain chain and is well protected from the elements. The ship has been permanently converted into the administrative headquarters of the new settlement and its reactor core is in the process of being removed so that it may serve as the colony's temporary power source. Hundreds of small tents and prefab shelters have sprung up around the former starship's massive hull as colonists begin to disembark in large numbers. The first Bagugian city on an alien world. A great day for the floating turtle jellyfish PLC. Indeed it is. Holy balls. And uh, we found a... what's this? It is... a uh, Beta Kale Kylie system? Ky Kylie Minogue system? Our science officers found anomaly. It will require extensive probing. <laughs> We're really good at probing. But could garner a substantial probe away. Gahoos probe away. Okay, so... We, yeah, we've currently got growth encouraged, so for, for quite a while now we'll have extra growth speed, which I think is going to be really, really nice. Um, why do we have 31 current pops and 32 employ... Oh, is that, oh that, that's number of jobs. Right, right, yeah, yeah. Right, so we've, still, we've got another clerk job. Where did that come from? Where did the clerk job come from? I guess it doesn't matter. It's not really a big deal, but still. A little bit can... Maybe someone moved? Oh, maybe we lost a pot because... It came here? I don't know. I don't know. Not sure. But either way, uh, we've got A-played. A A-played Prime. It's currently being colonised. It's going to take a little while, but we'll get there. We'll get there. We're continuing to survey as many systems as we can find. Um, I might put some cuts in. If... if, if you know, we, we've got a bit of downtime. If nothing's really happening, then I'll do. I'll put a little cut in, and we'll go to the next most interesting thing. Uh, that's what I did with my Albion Commonwealth campaign. It does increase the amount of of work required because obviously there's a lot more editing to do. Uh, okay, we can then carry on. Survey over there, and then there, and then there. Um, but it does sort of. I think it makes it more interesting because you're just jumping from the interesting point it, it, there's, no, there's never a big jump it's always little ones but sometimes there's just not a lot going on for maybe a month or so game time and then it's just good to just jump over it get to like the anomaly or the colonization or maybe there's a battle happening or something and then that's that's the point we jump back in so that's probably what i'll do um, i'm going to try and not do that too much because i say it, it tends to it tends to create a lot of ed editing time which is is fine but um, I've got a day job, so I don't have time to edit all day, unfortunately, as much as I would love to. And uh, I think doing it weekly probably was too long. Hello, teachings of explorers. The FTJ Gojum's crew is reporting they found something spectacular on Beta Kyle Kylie Minogue 5, 6, 7, 8. On the surface lies traces of an explosive explorative expedition of another civilization left behind are some well-preserved documents and artifacts. The proposed action by Chief Science Officer Gahus is to send the tech findings to our uh, homeworld for translation. There is also the possibility to sell them off to a private investor. Um, I mean, we've got a lot of money and minerals, to be honest. I don't think we need... We can, we can always yeah, send it to our homeworld for research. Situation log revised. And... Ooh, now... We could get the data bank uplinks. So we've got a new tradition. Data bank uplinks or science division. So science division would give the science level cap increased by two. Research alternatives increased by one. This increases station output. Can we see how much tech we're getting from... 
jobs. Right, so two and five. So it's, it's not an awful lot, is it? On the other hand, science division. I mean, the science level cap isn't really going to come into play. Well, I th you know what? I'm going to go for the science division. The number of science and medical officers has been increased throughout the fleet, organised to a special science division. To support this core of officers, new training programmes have greatly accelerated the rate at which we commission new science officers. I think that's what I'm going to go for. There we go. So far, so good. Oh, hello. The Infinity Equation. As the FTG Nimbala approaches the gargantuan black hole, they find they are not alone. At the edge of the event horizon, it soars, reflecting light from the stars being drawn into the dark gaping hole, a gigantic construction in the shape of a perfect sphere. We cannot pick up any signals for it. from it, nor does anything we, need, uh, we send make it respond. It simply sits at the edge of the abyss, waiting. Interesting. So we found the Infinity Machine. So this is, uh, well, it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. It's not going to attack us or anything unless we attack it. So it's fairly safe to ignore for the moment, I think. We're just going to carry on and do a little more exploration. I think eventually it will contact us, but for the moment, we're just going to, we're just going to carry on. I think it's no, it's no problem there. Ah yes, so contact report Leviathan news of this encounter with a deep space construct of gargantuan proportion is spreading throughout the floating turtle jellyfish PLC. While the entity does not appear to be a biological nature, its mere existence has inescapably ra uh, inescapable ramifications for the possibilities of technology and mega engineering. It is awe-inspiring. Yeah, thank god it wasn't the horror thing. Uh, Governor Dussel has has got uh, he's got what's that iron fisted? Uh, that's you. Where's where's Dussel? There he is. Yep, iron fist. This leader is infamous for their ruthless pursuit of efficiency and is capable of getting the most out of slave labour. Good for him. Nice work. Uh, do we have? Well, we're currently filling all jobs. Good. Do I want? I wanted more. Right. We do have any. We do have energy, don't we? Oh no, we haven't got that yet. I thought we did, and no, we don't. How's our technology? Right, eight more months there. Okay, we need to... Right, then we're going to build that. That does give us one more job. And hopefully our population should be growing nice and quick now. Tootling along nicely. Excellent. Um, could we... I'm wondering if maybe... Luxury residences. Hmm. At some point, I'm going to need some some entertainers or something. I think we're all right for the moment. And we're currently we're almost halfway to our empire size, and we have found the anomaly on Sigma Draconis Two. Our initial scans have caused an irregular signal reminiscent of our own distress patterns. All right, go and have a look at that one then. Makes sense. Uh, construction ship. Construction ship. Oh, tech. Good. Yes, we've got the global energy management. Nice. Okay, what do we want next? Uh, survey speed increase. Tempting. Tempting. Automatic exploration. Energy credits from technicians. We do have a lot. We are going to have a lot of technicians, aren't we? Let's go for field modulation because that's going to give us even more energy credits. For seven, that's in 71 months. That's fine. Uh, research is coming along nicely, if a little bit slow, but that's Attention fine. Survey. What's this? Some kind of unknown structures are floating in the gas giant's upper atmosphere. They appear to be using aerostatic lift to remain buoyant. Well, we, we do like floating, so re re research that. That's, yep, yeah, do that. Okay, let's put an outpost here at Stenlar. I like that. We'll do that. And we're currently just... System has been Hello. 
Impressive structures litter a small area on the surface of Drukas B3, practically begging from some archaeological work. Well, if you say so. Lost in space. The signal we intercepted was a distress call from a ship in orbit around Sigma Draconis 2. The ship is not giving off any heat signatures and seems to be drifting. A special project has been issued to investigate what happened to the crew. Uh, ah, it's always worth checking out, I guess. No harm. Derelict ship. I thought that was how long we had left. 20 days, but no, that's research time. Okay. Aerostat colonies. A ruined network of aerostat colonies dating back at least three millennia can be found in the low orbit of this gas giant. Their original function appears to have been gas mining, but they have since been abandoned and reoccupied by many different races and pirate groups. The colonies have been thoroughly stripped of anything even remotely valuable, but the mere fact they are still aloft after all this time makes an interesting subject of engineering research. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, hello. We found a feral civilization. We detect the presence of a primitive alien civilization on Sigma Draconis 4 in the Sigma Draconis system. They have advanced into equivalent of an Iron Age and have divided numerous petty kingdoms and empires. A species has spread across the entire surface of the planet. Where are they then? What have we got? Um. Okay, what I like is that, that you've got like stone palaces here. That's so good. Little primitive, little primitive houses. Oh, neat. That's so adorable. Um, what have we got here? Hot springs, mineral fields, blah, blah, blah. Well, what are these guys actually... Can we... Is there any way we can actually see the... I would like... Ah, there we go. Okay, they're rapid breeders. They're enduring. And they're slow learners. They're sort of like opposite Bagugians. But they don't float, which is rubbish. Okay, and they are... They are in the Sigma Draconis system. Alongside an ocean world, which has a lot of uh, agricultural districts. Okay, good to know. Abandoned amusement park of structures on... Dracurus B3 are not as old as we first believed. It seems to be a playground or amusement park of some sort. Science officer Fern Cass notes that many of the contraptions are highly complex creations and we can learn much from that. To the builder's alien eyes they must have been cutting edge sensor arrays or even gigantic arse installation. Regardless to us Bagugians it looks mostly like a place where you would take your young to let them amuse themselves. Future Good. I guess. Um, Sigma Draconis. Oh, lots, of, lots of stuff in Sigma Draconis. is remarkably... Uh, atmospherical produces some sort of enormous formation on its surface that provides geological models. Oh, a spherical. Oh, good. I don't know why they use words I don't understand. Jesus, guys, come on. I'm not, I'm not, you, you guys are nerds. I'm not a nerd. I'm a pirate kingpin or a criminal kingpin. That's what I am. Use normal language. Admire identified. A colossal impact crater hints that something big collided with the surface. See that? How hard was that? Research. Done. Done. Sorted. Okay, we've got Stenlar. The constant calculator. We've picked up a signal. It originates from the titanic metallic sphere we encountered earlier. Previous, uh, previously impervious to contact attempts, it now sends out a rhythmic pulse of radio waves pointed towards the black hole it orbits. What it is doing is beyond any of our staff, but the signal might have created an opening into the sphere for our scientists to exploit. Uh, I mean, you may as well. Situation log revised. You may as well. Can't hurt. 360 days, though. It's quite a... Spend a year twatting about with a stupid giant sphere. Silent Behemoth. Gehurst reports that the enormous structures located on Sigma Traconis 4A are in fact the gargantuan corpse of some identified, unidentified alien creature. Now, not only is a corpse large enough to be seen with the naked eye from Sigma Draconis 4, it also appears to be shearding large quantities of psychotropic chemicals that may have neurological side effects for organic life forms on the planet. Wow. What? What, this? Wait, which one? This one? No, this one. Oh. Okay, is that is that okay? Is that fine? Is that a, is that going to be a problem? Late? Is that is, sorry? I mean, it's not it's not inhabited, so it's probably all right. I hope. Okay, let's head. We want Pithra, don't we? we want Pithra? So 
What's this? F FTL cult, uh, impact. A massive crater on Tridium 4 appears to be the result of a collision with a starship. For the size of the crater, we suspect that a ship exited a high plane at maximum velocity around the planet for reasons unknown roughly 10,000 years ago. The FTJ Nimbala has picked up residual subspace echoes near the crash site reminiscent of a collapsing hyperparticulate field. But as the ship itself disintegrated, the, the theory cannot be verified. Okay. And... Fern Fuju has got propulsion. Okay, again, not actually that useful, but fine. Go and build a star base there. Abandoned gateway. An ancient subspace gateway has been located near Rixlar's Moor. It appears to have been built entirely by microscopic nanites of an unknown design. This particular gateway shows signs of having been altered at some point after its initial construction. Its connection to the rest of the network has been severed. Instead, the only valid destination is an uncharted group of stars just beyond our galaxy that has been designated the L Cluster by our astronomers. Although the gateway emits a faint power signature, it has been deliberately locked in some kind of maintenance loop that prevents its activation. Until we find some way of aborting this process, the L Cluster will remain beyond our reach. Intriguing. Situation ah, now. In my Albion Commonwealth campaign, I found an L gate, but quite late. And by the time I found it, I didn't actually get any... I, I don't think I ever got any L gate insights. So the fact we found one quite early on is very exciting. Plus there's dark matter here. So that's really nice. Liking that, liking that a lot. Good stuff. Uh, oh, we can get the energy grid. Let's build that. It's going to give us more energy. It's all good. Right, we definitely want to... I want... Well, we're getting scat. I want this system as well. Because I think that's... If there is anything beyond here, then if we can get these two systems, we lock them out of that section. That's ours then. That will make me feel better. Upscaling complete. Good. Okay, let's build a research station there. How's influence? Influence is going to take a little while. Uh, we've got another anomaly. Uh, some sort of faint alien signal during the survey of this planet. The source appears to be a small object in orbit. The signal contains no message. Could it be a distress transponder? I don't know. Don't know why you're asking me. Do you use your sensors or some... T t t I don't know. Sh shields up. Phasers online. Something. You don't have phasers, but still. You do you. Okay, getting that, getting the energy grid. Oh, hello. A new faction has been gaining traction in the internal political landscape of the Floating Turtle Jellyfish PLC, led by Oligarch Fos Fosalun. They call themselves the Veterans for Victory Movement. Hello. Right, you like... Complete. Imperial, yeah, yeah, okay. Leviathan Slayer, fine. You kind of... You're kind of happy. It's good enough. An abandoned life pod has been detected in close orbit of Ulthuan 5. It is covered in scorch marks, presumably from the pod's mothership exploded, and primarily scans suggest it was built more than 5,000 years ago. Uh, with it remains a reptilian alien clad in a resplendent uniform, clutched in one of its claws as a small picture of another individual from the same race, possibly a mate or a feared leader. Hmm, interesting. Okay, you guys are fairly... You're alright, it's fine. Yeah, good. Militant faction. identified. Uh, we briefly detected some unusual energy readings emanating from this planet. It might have been a glitch in our systems, or it could be a sign of something more. Well, I don't know. Run a system. Why do you keep asking me? Run a system scan or something. I don't know. Potential market survey completed. Good. Finally, someone's doing something. Excellent. Right. You are still going in that direction. We might actually get you to just scooch down here as well. Let's do that. You are already going over there. You're doing that. Okay, grab that one as well. Construction ship. We are waiting for that system to be surveyed. surveyed then we're going to grab that. Research we haven't activities. found any more aliens, so I'm hoping that we're... We might be in a quiet like sector of the galaxy, in which case, good. Okay, we've got planetary unification. So that's monthly unity plus two. So that's going to be very nice. Uh, gene clinics. Oh, medical worker jobs. Okay, interesting. Pop growth speed. Hmm, that's tempting, but I think neural implants. Get the slave processing facility. Get those indentured workers some chips in their brain. Free of charge. You can't argue with that. I mean, literally, they, they cannot argue with that. They, we won't let them. Uh, glancing hits. So we've been 
uh, hit by some stray rounds fired from a neighbouring galaxy. After missing their intended target, they continued on their journey for untold millennia until today. That's nice. So basically, we've been hit by space garbage. A new political faction, uh, the Authoritarian Coalition, led by Governor Dussel. He does like his slavery, doesn't he? He, he loves his slavery. You can't he can't get past his, his love of slavery. He really does love it. Uh, Anti-democratic, autocratic, ex... Da, 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 authority? Yeah, sure. Sure. Research actualized. Okay, good. That's finished. Uh, small rectangular object on the surface of the moon is deflecting all scanning beams like a mirror. Our sensor will unable to determine its material composition. Probably a mirror then. Just research it. Okay, we're actually getting good amounts of influence there, so that's nice. And we've got the mineral for mineral purification plants. So next, let's get a nebula refinery. Not too bothered about that. Engineering research, potentially. Corvette hull points. I mean, to be honest, Corvettes tend to melt when anything hits them apart from an enemy Corvette. Mind you, we are only have Corvettes at the moment, so could be a good, mind you, extra research. I'm going to go extra research. Let's go nano, nano mechanics. Let's grab that one. It's only 31 months. That's actually not actually too bad. Not actually too bad. Not too bad. Okay. Can we hurry up with the old... Do like map the stars, but we don't have it. Uh, science, science, science. Uh, all the scientists are leveling up. We found an alien mural while conducting surface scans of Grekel 5A. Science officer Gahus and the crew of the FTJ Gojum discover what appears to be an artificially covered slab of rock. Carved in alien writing, they have not detected any other signs of alien activity on the moon, and exactly how this mural came to be here is a mystery. We have prepared a social project to translate the text. Situation log revised. Okay, good. Good. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, we found another faction led by scientist Ferncast, the, the Xeno Liberty Council. Who? What happened to my militant people? The militant people gone. Okay. Uh, are you pacifists? Are you like aliens? Okay. Uh, enclaves incorporated. Yes. No purges. Okay. Fine. Fine. That's I'm okay with that. Are you still you still tootling around, are you? Come on. Hurry up. I've got Monster stuff to do. Life signs detected coming from inside the atmosphere of this gas giant. Okay, Major well survey complete. check if it is life then. And the Anathurian civilization. Okay, where are you guys? Ah, over here. Over here. Interesting. What are they? Oh, they're on I they're on a Arctic world. Um, they are adaptive. Ah, oh, it's, it's fine. That's fine. Problem with primitive species, you can't sell them anything. They don't have the right... Potential currency, do they? Rubbish. Okay, our energy is doing great. Getting lots of energy, and we just got another tradition. Excellent. System has been surveyed. Uh, atmospheric ecosystem. We've discovered a thriving ecosystem in the upper atmosphere of this gas giant. Uh, massive floating creatures have evolved bodies filled with lighter than air gases, just like us. Follow the wind currents and feed off the energy released by the gas giant's frequent lightning storms. The beings in turn support colonies of smaller animals that prey on atmospheric plankton and each other. Ah, oh, good. Good, good, good. Uh, we could get a poly polytechnic education. That's going to give leader experience gain by 25% and, and leader level cap by 1. Yes, we are going to get that. We're going to get that. And actually, that means uh, if we have a look at our leaders. So you... Holy crap, can we get to level 10? So scientists can actually reach level 10 now. Holy balls. And we've actually got... 70% increase in level gain, which is pretty pretty good, actually. Um, they're probably going to drop dead before they ever reach level 10, but still. Uh, okay, Fosslane has... Obviously, he's rebranded himself. Apparently, the first one didn't go so well. Now he's got the Martial Order of the Thorn. That's very dangerous for a balloon, but maybe that's the point. 
Like this is the most dangerous thing we can think of. A thorn. The potential for death is high. Oh, that's that's quite ballsy actually, isn't it? That's very ballsy. Uh, okay, so we're getting about yeah, about one influence from the, the factions, uh, which is quite nice. Where are we? There we are, influence. Yeah, so factions are giving 1.05. Uh, so that's, that's pretty good, liking that. Uh, you're still... What are you doing there? How long is it taking for you to... Oh, it's quite a big system, I guess, but still. Okay, you're finally leaving. Good grief. Good grief. I'm tempted to build another... We've got unemployed pops and no more buildings. I'm wondering if maybe go... I mean... Minerals is fine. Energy is okay. I'm wondering if maybe more food. Good business is where you find it. Good. Okay, we've colonized. Um, I played Prime. Let's. We do have a lot of food here, don't we? So. I think we just kind of have to wait for that. I, I think, food-wise, I think we're all right for the moment. I don't think we have to worry too much about it. But what I might do is we've got 33 pops here. How many? We've got six additional. Okay, so let's maybe get a generator district. Let's do that. Let's maybe get rid of these because we've got lots of energy. No harm in doing that. Fairly happy with that. Uh, oh, there's another Future planet here. It's Desert okay. World. Obviously, that's something we really don't like. But that's fine. We don't have to colonize it. I can always terraform it if you f I really want to. Oh, there's a significant amount of debris in orbit around this gas giant. Well, find out what it is. Is it just space trash? Is there anything good in there? Sift through it. Send me the good shit. Tell you what we do need is more consumer goods. Debris field. Uh, massive amount of space debris which has formed densely around parts of the gas giant. Most of it appears to be wreckage from blah blah blah. Uh, fine. Just, yeah, loot it. Ooh, and the Yurt Empire. We have recovered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization on Markab 3. Our scientists think they inhabited this region of stars roughly 6 million years ago. Based on the age of the artifact, the aliens call themselves the Yurt and appear to have been large flat anthropod analogues seems a single individual could reach the length of nearly 100 meters as an adult and it was apparently exceedingly rare for more than two or three years to travel aboard the same starship okay so that's our precursor event Situation log revised. good to know Market outlier identified. Uh, unusual readings more to this desert world yep well find out then Uh, survey complete. Although our, through our surveys of habitable worlds, our biologists have collected a vast amount of data on alien life forms. Many of our older theories on the development of life have been disproved and our scientific community has had to build new models from scratch. Our most interesting findings are being displayed at the newly dedicated Museum of Exobiology Umbagogi Prime. The public is enthralled and many donations have come in to aid the continuing search for strange life forms. It's going to give us lots of energy and lots of society re uh, research. That's nice. It's going to help with our slave processing facility, so that's good. I mean, not for the slaves, I mean indentured servants. Obviously, they're indentured servants, not slaves. It's contractual. Okay, another tropical world down there. I wonder if this is a dead end as well. Uh, primordial soup nestled in a sheltered pocket across Pauna 2 surface is a rich sludge of simple organic compounds that our researchers believe could be a hotbed for by why of stuff the spontaneous formation of organic life from lifeless matter Pauna 2 has an unusually thick atmosphere for a barren world which could make it um, hospitable for simple life forms although this presents a unique opportunity to study what could be the early signs of origins of life it could be the best set our expectations low as it may be a millions of years before the, this evolves naturally on pauna 2a if at all okay well thanks for checking it 
I guess. Good to know. Uh, how are we doing here? Okay, growing. We've got still one pot there. Getting rid of those bits. Upscaling complete. Okay, good. Research actualized. Good, even better. So we've got, got the energy credits, so we are we're rolling in energy credits. Very nice. Uh, research complexes. So this is an upgrade for the research labs, which just oh, it has upkeep of um, gas. Interesting. Okay. So that's what we'd need it for. We don't have any at the moment, so we won't go with that. We will go with, maybe with research speed. Yeah, it's get administrative AI. It's just a nice one to have, I think. Anything which increases our research speed has to be good. What? Gahus, what are you doing? Why are you so slow? Come on. Come on, man. I mean, tentacle... Jo okay, this, this system is quite big. I will... I will give you that. It is quite a big system. You've just been a lot of big systems. We've detected signs of life coming from somewhere beneath this barren life of surface boom. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah, find it. Go find it. Hurry up. A system has been surveyed. Finally. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I want to... Come on. An odd factor. A group of investigators found a hidden factory on iPlayed Prime. The building and its state of decay tell of an old civilization, one that excelled at constructing things that stood the edge of time. Our population would, could be easily able to use a facility to add to colonies production output. Market outlier identified. Okay. Uh, so we found silicon life forms. Borrowing silicon life forms have a vast network of tunnels beneath that place. Good. Uh, yep, yeah, look at that one. So where does this old factory turn up then? Is it like a building? Uh, I don't quite understand where... Hmm. It was here, wasn't it? Is it a... Ah, there we go. Odd factory. Odd factory worker job. What the hell does that do? Well, I guess that's fine. So what, how do I use that then? Oh, it's just there. So I guess someone will just work it and do, so I don't know what it does, but it's there. Good. It's not concerning at all. Okay, let's get over there. Yes, move here. Okay, no sign of, of life so far, so that's good. Micro singularity. Uh, I think we've had this one before, so. Micro singularity path through a planet. Change the planetary core. Oh my god, that, that happens more than once. That's terrifying. Could be under attack. Micro singularities everywhere. Future market survey complete. Excellent. Keep surveying. This. Oh, no, that's not a dead end. There's one there, isn't there? Hmm. Okay. I would like to get um, Widborough. If we could get Widborough, I'd be happy. A system has been surveyed. No reports of any problems have been issuing from the odd factory on iPlayed Prime. It seems the colony will maintain the projected production at good. Good, good, good to know. Good to know. I guess that means it's safe, for whatever reason. Um, Outlier identified. Oh, does it give us? So it works like a metallurgist, does it? Okay. Uh, strong energy emissions of unknown origin make this asteroid stand out from the rest of the blah, blah. Okay, yeah, fine, fine, fine. fine. Yep, so it uh, works like a metallurgist. So, just gives us some some alloys, which is very nice. Happy with that. 
not weird at all. Okay, waiting for this. If we can just lock this off, I, I'm, I'm, I'd be fairly happy with that. It's like a little, little, um, little empire. Maybe we come down here to Hicklum, so we border the Caravaneers. Weapons target range: Asteroid TR44 Q38 is pockmarked with craters from weapon blasts and appears to have been used as a target range by someone roughly two millennia ago. Residual energy readings suggest they tested increasingly exotic weaponry, including subspace bombs and some kind of singular I knew it singularity generator. Our scientists would be interested in studying unusual energy echoes that remain. Sure, whatever. Knock yourself out, I guess. Outlier identified. Uh, ancient orbital shipyard drifts in silence. Okay, well, that's good. Yeah, we need more consumer goods. Future so, ah, we do have a space. Let's go for another civilian industry, I think. Encounter in Kathia. We have encountered some form of alien vessels in the Kathia system. These strange objects have been flagged as Zeta aliens until we can learn more about them. We should proceed with caution. Hello. Ah. This looks like another alien species. Okay, looks like a humanoid. So they're current. Okay, they're scanning this system, which means we've got plenty of time. So we're going to build an outpost there. Then I'm quite happy with what we've got. I mean, we, if we could grab this one, that would be a good defensive position. Um, but we've got plenty of influence, so I'm, I'm okay with that, actually. We can we can grab Kathia as well. They're only just scanning it, so they won't be able to grab it in time. And then that would be a nice sort of, like, defensive position against whoever these aliens are. I'm going to assume that they're not friendly. Because I know what my luck is like. Uh, while conduct conducting their survey on Andorak 3, the FTJ Sir Alin... Detected the remains of an automated shipyard in orbit, at least a thousand years old, and seems to have been subjected to heavy missile barrage. One of our manufacturing bases, or one of its manufacturing bases, is still in working condition. Uh, confident that power could be restored to shipyard, but it would be a significant project. Okay. Well, we'll take a look at that. Research actualized. Okay, good. Engineering research increased. That's nice. Uh, we could get powered exoskeletons. Minerals from jobs. I quite like that idea. So let's get powered exoskeletons. It's only 30 months. Not actually too bad. That's doable. Um, oh, so the odd factory is literally is producing alloys without actually... Wait, wait, is this right? Yeah, it's producing alloys without using minerals, so it just produces... Okay, that's 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 really nice, then. That's that's really nice. Oh, we've... Okay, Kathia. We want Kathia. Let's grab Kathia. And then, whichever alien species this is here... What's that? It's an alpine one. There. Okay. We can use this as, like, a little choke point. Which is good, because then Pythora... That we want Pythora. How's our cohesion? Cohesion's not too bad. And we've got a tradition. Uh, Pops working with research had their upkeep reduced by 20% or research station. I don't think we've got many research stations. That's it. We still don't have many. Uh, station 5. Station 5. Yeah, it's not going to be... Okay, let's go for faith in science then. So, the public has come to regard science as something almost akin to a religion. Their faith is, is, is absolute. There is no question in this universe so big that it cannot be answered by science. Ah, oh, that's nice. Okay, we'll grab Kathia. Uh, empire size is 31. So we need to be a little bit careful. Uh, I don't want to grab too much. Class 12 asteroid orbits this planet. Small planetoids orbit it appears to be stable, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay, that's good. Let's build mining stations here. Uh, probably want to do the same there. Works for me. Uh, right, minerals has dropped a bit, but consumer goods has increased, so that's good. Uh, for some reason, someone has towed an asteroid into stable orbit around Tibacor 2. The massive engine sections and braking thrusters can still be found on the surface, although they have long since been rendered inoperable. Whoever did this also mined the asteroid for minerals, but those operations were seemingly abandoned after they began. 
Okay. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, can we... Research actualized. Can we talk to these guys? Uh, beta aliens. Beta aliens. Uh, where are beta aliens? Am I being mental? Got zeta aliens. Maybe we can't talk to them until a certain amount of time has passed. Could be. Survey complete. Could be. Outlier identified. Okay, an object that reflects our senses have been located in Yenesi asteroid field near blah blah blah. Virtual, vir visual observations have identified the object as a polygon. Ugh, as some sort of weird shit. But due to lack of scanner data, little else is known. Okay, well, fine. Uh, oh, what do we pick up? Oh, we've got the slave army. Nice. Nice. All the thingy, doobry, what's it? Yep. Um, right. So we don't actually... I mean, more food would be quite nice. Offworld Trading Company produces two trade for each trade hub. Um... Let's get the eco simulation because the food's a little down, so we could probably do that. In fact, what we could do is we could do a encourage planetary growth here. Let's do that. That's going to up our growth. That's all good. Um, minerals is fine. I think maybe we just. I think maybe what you should do is build agricultural district here. Get food there. I'm thinking that might be good. So let's do that. Uh, oh, hello. Uh, that looks like an operator. So I'm, I'm, this could well be their home world. Uh, puzzling Polygon. The FTJ Nimbala crew has recovered the reflective polygon object near T1 T9141, bringing it on board for detailed study. The object's most intriguing quality is its ability to reflect most types of low frequency energy beams directed at it. High frequency energy beams, however, remain unaffected, making the object's properties useless with regards to any potential fleet defense applications. Despite extensive examination, the FTJ Nimbala research team has been unable to determine the function or origin of this particular polygon. It appears to be hollow, but its metalloid surface is engraved with some kind of scientific notation although the full meaning of this codified data eludes us. Fern Fuju believes it relates to wormhole metrics. Our research team is able to glean some fascinating insights into wormhole theory by studying these not notations. However, whatever purpose this object was created for, however, is still a mystery. Okay, we get Elgate insights and some physics research. It's not bad. Okay, building the agricultural district, that's good. That's all fine. It's gonna make some more jobs as well. Future market survey complete. Uh, I think some people have moved. Okay, we've got hello, the Zanormi Authority. Oh, they're foxes. We are the Zan Zanarami Authority, minions of the wise patriarch. Pudrig Den Sabir. Our aim is to improve ourselves through use of technology, and whether you agree with these goals or not, we trust you to remain amicable neighbours. Well, yes. Together we can achieve greatness, Sanami. Okay, they're right there. They're right there. I'm surprised they hadn't surveyed this, this system or expanded this in this direction, but I'm glad they didn't. Okay, uh, surface of the asteroid is littered with metallic debris. Most of it appears to be originate from starships of different designs. Well, see if we can scavenge some. Okay, how do you feel about us? You... Xenophile Diplomacy, New Contact, Border Friction, Criminal Syndicates. Hmm. But you're equivalent. Okay. Okay. I mean, what we could do is maybe... Just a thought, but... Uh, we'll also increase our empire size. Okay. Oh, we're currently 40. Well, screw it. I want to do it anyway. Um, right, so branch offices increase it by two. Really? Jesus. Jesus. Okay. Still. Right, so oh this is I've been looking forward to this. So, what's this? Bioreprocessing plants. 
underground facilities where disloyal employees and other forms of unsavory biomatter are reprocessed into ready to eat food products. <laughs> uh, uh, concealed drug labs, illicit research labs. That's basically the umbrella at that point, isn't it? We're, we're basically producing zombies under their cities. Pirate free haven. Um, corporate empire modifier. Naval capacity plus 10. Okay. Smugglers port. Branch office value plus 25%. Merchant jobs. Clerk jobs produces uh, unity. Underground clubs. <gasps> we can have underground bagoogie sex clubs with bagoogie strippers. They take their shells off and everything. Uh, Wildcat mining operations. Wow. And wreckers yards. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm thinking maybe illicit research labs. Let's build umbrella underneath their city. I'm going to build illicit research labs. All manner of highly illegal R&D is carried out in these secret laboratories. That sounds amazing. So that's what we're going to do. Is that going to upset you? Well, you're already pretty upset. It doesn't help. But still, I mean, just think of all the good things that you get. Um, okay, you not... They're not friendly anymore. Well, you know what? I mean, what are you going to do? Right. Talking of what you're going to do, maybe we should um, upgrade our defences just to be on the safe side. So we'll upgrade that star base. Um, let's get the research. Well, oh, hello. Junkyard. Asteroid was evidently used as a junkyard by someone at point some point in the distant past. All manner of discarded machinery and metallic refuse has been deposited inside the asteroid's weak gravity well, being slowly pulled into the jumble of debris that now covers the surface. There is nothing in particular value to be found here, but a lot of metal can be scavenged by a mining station. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, let's get the research lab there. Our science ship is just missing because, um, well, it's... It was, in the, it was in their territory when they decided to close it to us, the jerks. Some kind of unknown structures are floating in this gas giant's upper atmosphere. Okay, good. So we like floating. Uh, what's this? Luxuries distributed. Okay. So, because if we do... Wow, you've colonised a lot of planets. We've colonised one. And to be honest, it's slow going. The three pops and five jobs. Social experiments. Uh, a small aerostat colony was found floating just above the atmosphere of two. It appears to have some sort of self-sufficient and remains from several different species were found on board. Best we could tell the colony it was some kind of social experiment conducted a century ago that ultimately ended with the colonists massacring each other. Uh, we have downloaded all the data found. Okay, well, should be good for a laugh anyway. Um, let's build a city district. Because that's going to give us some more... Market outlier identified. More living space. And we picked up the research speed. That's very nice. Uh, let's have a look what we got. Uh, automatic exploration. Okay, improved deflectors. We have just met someone who doesn't like us very much, so I'm thinking maybe we get improved deflectors. Let's do that. Let's do that, because currently we don't have much in the way of ships. Let's have a in fact, we should have a quick look at what our ships are doing. So let's have a look at the f fleet manager. Yeah. Uh, so, the Nimboroth class corvette has flak batteries and small, really flak, fl it's got flak batteries. Where the, hang on, where are you? Uh, ship design. Why have you got flak batteries? No, don't do that. Do, I don't know. Do we have any missiles? Hit them with, well, in fact, does everyone start with, if they start with, pit, fuck it, we'll just, laser. Bosch. Yes, I want to do that because that design is shite. So, upgrade you. Let's recruit an admiral. Um, sublight speed, ship fire rate. That sounds pretty good. Dovgill. Dovgill, you're in. Dovgill, you are commander of our fleets. Our tiny, tiny, insignificant fleet. Let's get some more ships just to be on the safe side. 
Future market survey complete. Uh, one of the small moonlets orbiting the gas giant has been identified as a promising mining site. A more thorough survey will have to be conducted to determine whether a mining operation would be feasible or not. Sure. Uh, did we do this one as well? Do that one as well. Okay, science ship. Let's get you going this direction. I don't know if there's anything up here. Maybe this just ends, but if it does, all the better. Uh, we can survey all these bits as well. Do something like that. Okay, yeah, we're getting a defence station there. It's nice. And got that one. Okay, fully upgraded. Good. Good. Just in case. Precious Moon, a more detailed scan of one of the many natural satellites orbiting the gas giant Yanessa 5 has revealed a deposit of precious metals and minerals that have been overlooked in the initial survey. Although the new moon is very small, it has a stable orbit around its primary and appears tectonically stable. Okay. Okay. Uh, we're currently size 44. Wait, is that okay? Oh, right. So we're actually not very good with cohesion. Um... Isolated systems. We've got isolated systems. What do we do? Do we? No, no, it's fine. Okay, let's get Pythara. Let's grab that. Maybe that. Oh, maybe it's that one. Maybe it's that one. Okay, well, we'll grab this. Hopefully, that should help a bit. Um, we're not over the cap yet, so it's fine. It's fine. Good. Let's just keep surveying, finding weird stuff. I love weird stuff. Weird stuff is the best stuff. Upscaling complete. Uh, eater aliens. Let's hope they don't want to eat at us. Uh, okay, that's an insectoid, and uh, this is a that's a lot of. So a lot of asteroids. A lot of asteroids. How do you guys feel about us? You are... I mean, it's getting better. So, nothing to worry about, really. How is my... Oh, I can see it here, can't I? They've got 54 crime. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, they've got 54 crime on their planet. Uh, criminal syndicate branch office and uh, from branch offices uh, they're reducing it by 20 okay well yes oh we've got a new oligarch okay fine fine and we can we can get a new one when they hit 50 pops but so far we're just getting a little bit of research and that's quite nice actually nice little bit of research uh, System has been surveyed. okay so we've got fossilin who I quite like I might just elect. Mind you, that's you know what I'm gonna just let it happen because it's a lot of influence to do that, and I don't really care. Fenhurst will rule. Okay, so what's going? Oh, you. Okay, we need a new scientist. Uh, you. Let's get Slurfuja. Slurfuja, you're up. How's pops here? Pops are three pops. Growing, good. Good. Migration is reducing a little. Oh, hello. Coalition of Sitaka Prime. Translate our language. Hello, erudite explorers. Greetings from the coalition of that thing. Chancellor, that guy is our elected representative. But in truth, all citizens have a voice in our government. How nice. We strive to better ourselves through technology, a desire we hope you respect. We do. Uh, fellow Star, we, we salute you. Oh, the Wasari Decimators. Hello. Quake and fear, alien scum, for your doom approaches. The Wasari Decimators will cleanse the galaxy of every misbegotten Xeno civilization that pollutes it with their presence. Bagugi Prime shall burn. Uh, together we shall achieve greatness. Because why not? Upscaling complete. Okay. Okay. So I, t I take it we probably 
Why why do the decimators have a heart? Okay, never mind. Um Yeah. Yeah, I didn't I didn't think we probably couldn't set I mean even a illegal branch off is probably not going to work very well for a uh, fanatical purifier. We could establish a branch office. Ah, okay, good. Yes, we're going to do that. I mean, it's going to annoy them, but fuck it. Yeah, whatever. Um, okay, so... Uh, food is fine. Minerals is fine. Energy is fine. Maybe just... I mean, that's not going to be hugely useful straight off the bat. Unity would be nice, though. I mean, we could really give ourselves a lot of unity. Syndicate Front Corporations. These above-the-board businesses allow local criminal syndicates to operate behind a veneer of upstanding legality. Uh, yeah, let's... Let's do that. So that's going to give us quite a chunk of unity, which is going to be very, very nice. Looking forward to that. I, I love, I love corporate offices. Especially the you know, evil ones. So much fun. Uh, let's get some more energy there. Yeah, okay, we got kicked out of that space, but that's fine. What isn't fine is we might eventually border a fanatical purifier, although... Oh, their fleet power is overwhelming. Fantastic. Good. Good to know. Good to know. Right, what I think I might do is build another... Uh, where are we? There we are. Right, build another construction ship. We need to gray, uh, grab wind barrel. So we're going to grab wind barrel, build defences there, just in case. Uh, we've got defences here. So we're going to go with a gun battery and a missile battery and that. And we're also going to build... Def What's our defensive platforms like? Uh, we're right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 ship designer. Okay, just all guns. That's fine. That's fine. And we will get three defense platforms. That will keep us safe from them. I don't think the decimators are going to... Hmm. I don't think the decimators are going to attack us right away. So I think we're fine uh, while we, you know, make some, some illicit research and there we is, is our thing ready let's get this game there are we getting 7.1 energy from this yes we are holy crap that's amazing i love this so much uh powered exoskeletons lovely we could get robot workers alloy mega forges uh Metallurgist. Okay, so that's like a upgraded metallurgist, is it? But it requires moats. Right. Um, I mean, we've got slaves, so we don't really need robots. Uh, let's just go Corvette hull points, because at this point, we're starting to piss off quite a few people by building, you know, Bagoogian strip clubs on their planets. Um, and that would upset anyone. And to be fair, I totally understand why that would be upsetting. I'm not going to stop, though. If anything, I'm going to step up the strip club production. But unfortunately, that is going to have to wait until next time. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.